Let's take a quick visual tour of the full Route 5, from Whitehall to 157th Street. A special shout out to Welcome to an Experience for their amazing videos, be sure to check them out too. In the upper right corner we've also included the track grades. The plus sign indicates a climb, a negative sign indicates a descent, and the absence of a reading indicates level track. Enjoy the ride. We have upcoming content covering the lower level of City Hall and its proposed plans. Here are the line's unbuilt sections. Section 4 was later adjusted and extended to connect with the current Union Square station. We're now on the IRT section of the line. This double-deck tunnel design maximizes underground space by stacking tracks vertically, rather than spreading them out horizontally. It addresses challenges such as limited street width and high traffic demands while maintaining structural integrity and efficient water management. The northern section of the line navigates challenging geography and elevation changes, resulting in several areas with 3.0% grades. We'll highlight a few of the notable climbs and descents. We are now at the highest elevation of Route 5 in Manhattan. The line descends approximately 70 feet over a span of 3,200 feet. Keep an eye on this section. The four-track section over Harlem Creek is featured in detail in our Part 2 video. Be sure to check it out for an in-depth look at this part of the line. Crossing under the Harlem River, this tunnel was prefabricated and lowered into place. Route 5 divides into two branches at this point, with the eastern branch connecting to the Pelham Line and the western branch to the Jerome and West Farms Lines. Let's go back to Section 7 at 43rd and take a look at the line's lower level via Track 3. Off we go! The 59th Street Lower Level Station was added and opened in 1962. Ever wonder why the 63rd and Lexington Station has support columns on the upper level? Ever hear the rumbles every few minutes? That's the Lexington Avenue Express Crossing, roughly 20 feet above. <laughs> Tracks dropped 52.5 feet between 90th and 100th streets. There appears to be some traffic coming into 125th, but this also gives us a chance to see the station timer set up along this segment. Be sure to check out our signals videos where we cover timers in more detail. This time we'll be traveling along the western branch of Route 5. This branch will take us beneath the Grand Concourse and connect with Route 16. 
Route 5 makes its way into the Bronx. Route 27 branches off to the right, connecting to the West Farms line, which is used by the 5 train. We're reaching the end of segment 15 and the conclusion of our journey on Route 5. We hope you enjoyed the ride uptown and the overview. See you next time.